So a big move and an announcement by AMD through various channels, and the one we'll be re referencing today is going to be through our friend Bauer over on his YouTube channel. I'll link that in the description below if you'd like to go watch his full video on it. But it appears that AMD has reversed course regarding Zen 3 support on the 400 series motherboard. So it was originally announced that the Zen 3 parts were only going to be supported on the 500 series, so X570 and B550. One of those is quite late to the party being the B550 variant and it's still no change as far as we know as far as what chips that board will support but Zen 3 will go back to X470 and B450 motherboards now through a change from AMD they took feedback which was quite loud and proud all over the internet regarding how they felt about the support for Zen 3 being dropped on that series of motherboards and it, the outrage was mostly understandable but they did have seven stipulations and we'll bring those up real quick and you can take a look at those right here right there so this is the shot from DeBauer's video if you want to see again see the whole thing link down in the description below but the seven things that they did bring up and are very important to mention here is one they will be developing our motherboard partners with co they will be developing and enabling their motherboard partners with code to support Zen 3 based processors on select beta BIOSes for B450 and X470. It's a lot with the way they did with Zen 2 on the X370 and B350 motherboards that supported it. Some A320 boards got the support, but that was, I'm pretty sure the board vendors took that one on their own. Now these optional BIOS updates will disable support for many existing AMD Ryzen processors, which was something that a lot of people suggested. Why can't they do this? They could just reduce those. So the select BIOSes will enable a one-way upgrade path for, for Zen 3 processors coming later this year. So we either know that the processors are coming later this year or just the BIOSes are coming later this year. So there's some you know, confirmation in that. Uh, flashing back to an older BIOS version will not be supported. It's an interesting move there. Now, to reduce potential for confusion, the intent is to offer the BIOS only to verified customers of 400 series motherboards who have purchased a new desktop processor with the Zen 3 inside. It sounds like they're going to require some gatekeeping on this. So you're going to have to provide possibly a receipt proof of purchase for both parts. That'll be interesting to see how that affects the used market. So interesting to see the development on that one. So timing and availability of the BIOS will vary and may not be immediately coincide with the availability of the first Zen 3 based processors. So this could be an instance where the chips come out and you, you're going to be the low man on the totem pole to get your BIOS. So you're probably going to get it later. I experienced that with my um, Crosshair 6 with X370, but eventually got the support and I'm still using it now with very little to no problems outside of whatever Windows decides to break. Uh, sixth thing is this is a final pathway. So this is going to be the last one. They're not going to go any further. They said they weren't going to support it, but now they are. But as it stands, this will be the last one and anything beyond that will require a new newer motherboard. And uh, AMD does recommend a consent continue to recommend their customers to use the 500 series motherboards, which, you know what, at the end of this video, I, um, I've decided we're going to let that video go tomorrow. You'll see what I'm talking about whenever it goes live at, uh, I don't know, some point tomorrow morning. Um, I will actually refer back to this video because in that one, I mentioned the lack of support on these for these, but remember with the B400 series, you are going to be limited to PCIe gen two. So you may get the new features as far as the clock speeds, frequencies, and all of that stuff in the core architecture, but you're still going to be on PCIe Gen 2, 3, PCIe Gen 3. But that's something to take in consideration. If that doesn't matter to you, then, well, hey, hold on to that B series, B450 or that X470 board that you love so much. You'll get a little bit more life out of it in the end, it seems. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.